There is something new in the Upper East Side of El Paso that involves safety. Hello, I'm your host, Ricky Saez. We're going to take a look inside the new Regional Command Center off of Pebble Hills. These stories and more on this edition of Your City in Five. A new police command center in the Upper East Side is helping keep our community safe. A ribbon cutting officially opened the state of the art facility on Pebble Hills near Pebble Hills High School. It's the first command center built by the city in more than two decades. I think when people talk about taxes and we talk about the things that we need to invest in, this is really showing people concretely where those dollars go. What, it really, what the return on investment is for their tax dollars and showing them that the things that they are care about, which is really public safety and quality of life in our community. It, it helps uh, the officers um, when they're out there in the field, they make arrests, they don't have to go all the way to Pebble Hills, which is the nearest station. Now they're closer to the area that they're working. Two, this is a facility that the community can come in to be part of the El Paso Police Department. It features administrative offices, holding cells, a community room, and a fitness room for officers, among other items. The building also showcases two beautiful public art pieces, one outside the building as you enter, and one inside as well. It costs about $39 million to build. That money comes from the public safety bond approved by voters in 2019. Speaking of new, we welcome Dr. Miguel Hernandez, a veterinarian at the Animal Services Department. The native El Pasoan started a few weeks ago. Hernandez is excited to be part of the team and is happy to be providing additional care for animals at the shelter. Being able to take a pet that would otherwise be unadoptable because of all those different medical issues that they may have, uh, being able to turn them around and have them all of a sudden be healthy and be able to be adopted is you know, really rewarding. Hernandez is working with Dr. Anthony Chacon and other vets and technicians at the shelter. Welcome to Team EPTX. In other city happenings, you have a chance to learn more about your neighborhood branch libraries through a series of open house events. It's part of the Public Library's 130th anniversary in El Paso. It's a chance to learn about all of the free services, resources, and programs that our libraries provide. The first open house was held at the Westside Branch Library. It included library mascot, Lea, a tour, swag, and refreshments. Other open houses are scheduled in October and beyond. The complete list is posted at elpasolibrary.org. By the way, the first library started as a reading room in downtown in 1894 by Mary Stanton. Hey, Rick, it's recording. Oh, hey, sorry, just getting a little work out here, getting ready for the senior games when I'm old enough to enter. Speaking of the senior games, this season came to an end with an awards banquet and a bunch of recognitions. The 2024 El Paso Senior Games came to an end with an awards banquet at the Michelle T. Jamie and Recreation Center. Senior athletes from around the city gather to chat with friends and celebrate another successful year. The games promote physical fitness and sportsmanship for seniors through a variety of competitive sports like basketball, swimming, pickleball, and others. Guest speakers Mayor Oscar Leeser and Parks and Recreation Director Pablo Caballero talked to the crowd and handed out awards. But what a wonderful thing we do every year. For 40 years, the Parks and Recs, the city's been doing this. This is uh, great for our community, but thank you for all the seniors who participated and everybody as a winner. We can do it and move around. We need to keep on doing it. And it's a lot of fun and socializing. The ceremony included a moment of silence and recognition in honor of Buf Morrison, who passed away a day before the banquet. He was an inspiration for many and will be dearly missed by his family and friends. Our hearts go out to the family. The senior games are held every year by the sports division of the Parks and Recreation Department. Congratulations to all of our senior champs. A big welcome home goes out to our veterans who recently returned from an honor flight where they visited monuments in Washington, D.C. They were greeted with open arms and thank you signs at the El Paso International Airport. From everyone at the city of El Paso, thank you for your service. The Market at Cohen is wrapping up another successful year. Every Saturday morning from March to September, the market has dozens of local vendors who offer fresh produce, baked goods, and handmade crafts. The final market of the season at Cohen in Northeast El Paso is Saturday, September 28th, but it's not disappearing completely. The market will be part of fall festivals like Chalk the Block, the Dia de los Muertos Festival, and one of our favorites, Winterfest. 
Officer Pastran, thank you so much for giving us a tour of the command center. Appreciate your time and everything you do for the community. Thank you. Have a good day. And that's going to do it for us on this edition of Your City in Five from the Regional Command Center in the Upper East Side of El Paso. For Mario Ramirez, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in Five.